Hello! In this video I will show you the easiest way to download and install LEGO Video 2.0 programming app on a MacBook. If you are ready, let's begin! First, we need to download the installer from the official LEGO website. So open your favorite browser and go to education.lego.com. Now, once you're here, this is the main website of LEGO Education. This is how it looks like right now. And from here, you can go on about two ways. You can either search for We Do Software right here, or you can scroll down to the bottom of the main page until you reach shortcuts. Here in the resources, you should find download software. Let's go there. And here on this page, you can of course find all sorts of different uh, Lego kits. We of course are looking for We Do 2.0. So let's click here. Mm -hmm. Today I am using MacBook, okay? So right here when selecting the installer you want, I will select Mac operating system. Now on this page you can also review the requirements for this app. You can have them right here. Mm -hmm. And of course, the next logical thing to do is to download the installer. Mm -hmm. Now, depending on your internet connection, this may take a while or be very fast. The download is now complete, so let's activate the installer. Okay, now we of course need to go through the necessary steps. So, continue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here of course you need to enter your password. And the installation is now taking place. Again, we need to wait a moment. Now that we do 2.0 coding app is installed, let's go to Launchpad, find it, and click on it to activate it. Okay, of course, here we need to agree to the end user license agreement. Well, I know it already, so I will just click OK without reading it right now. Mm -hmm. Here, this is a very short introduction to this software. You can go through it if you want to. However, I will just close it right now by using this X in the upper right corner. This is the lobby of We Do 2.0 app. You can see that there are several options here. You can click on your first project uh, to get a full tutorial from LEGO that will help you familiarize yourself with this app, or you can just start a new project right here. This is what I am going to do right now. And this way we have now transferred, we have moved to the programming area of We Do 2.0. This is where we will create the code. But now, of course, what I want to do is to check if everything is installed properly and if I can connect from this software to my Smart Hub. Okay, now remember that in order to activate your Smart Hub, you actually need to have charged batteries placed inside. Without them, just there is no way that this will work. Now, to connect your Smart Hub to the app, you of course need to use this blue Bluetooth tab in the top right corner of this app. However, before we go there, there's one more thing you need to check. Whether your Bluetooth is on or off. So, on a MacBook, you can check this right here at the 
top of the page. My Bluetooth is right now off, so let's turn it on. All right, now I can go back to Lego Education Wii 2.0 software and test this connection. Let's open the Bluetooth tab and you will see that, well, there's nothing there. <laughs> that is because my Smart Hub is turned off. To turn it on, I need to press this button for just a moment until the light starts flashing and the device appears on this list. Once it does, simply select it and wait for the connection to be established. It might take a few seconds, but by the end you should see thumbs up. This means that the connection is there. Once it is, you can go back to the programming area and start coding. Now, to test this connection, I will create quickly a, a robot and a very simple program that will allow us to see if everything works as it should. I am back with this wind turbine robot you see above my head and a very, very simple program, uh, which you can see in the programming area. Now, if the connection is working as it should, uh, this means that once I activate the program, we will be able to see the robot move. Let's see if that is really the case. Okay, the robot is moving and if you want to stop the program, uh, you can do it just by clicking this red square in the corner, which stands for stop the program. Okay, now that I've confirmed that the connection is working as expected, this means that I can calmly and easily keep on working here and expanding this program uh, to a much more interesting shape. I hope you found this video helpful and easy to follow. I also hope that you will keep on coding, learning and having fun with robotics in the future. Thank you so much and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!